All right, guys, here we go. Six months out. Decided to get pumped up for this one, so I'm kind of excited. Um, enjoying the abs are starting to come in. Hit a new low of 189.7 this week. Um, new waist of 32. That vacuum pose, I'm super excited for when that gets leaned out. That's going to be a nasty pose. Uh, but, man, the upper body starting to come in. The legs, I'm so excited about my legs. Um, like I said, my lower abdomen, my abdominals are just one of those stubborn parts of my body. The leaner I get, I'm starting to get to the leanest I've ever been. And I'm starting to notice the loose skin from when I was younger. So that's going to be interesting to see how that develops. But super excited about my legs. Um, I'm liking my bicep peaks. You know, I'm someone that struggles genetically with really small arms. So to see them, you know, peak like that. And like I'm starting to get that little that point at the top. I'm really excited. I'm loving the tricep side. I'm thinking my lats are cutting in. Fantastic. Like I said, my legs are just blowing me away. Um, this uh, uh, mandatory pose, I'm, I'm really starting to feel like I can feel it. Like I can feel when I'm being symmetrical. As we talked about last week, lower love handles. I don't. I think all that's going to tighten up like the last week. It's going to be wild. And, and, and you know, we'll see how it goes. But um, all in all, um, I like the way this felt. I'm excited to see what it looks like when I opened up. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, see, that's gold right there. That's nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, once that comes in, it's going to be nasty. Um, let's see, what, I'm, what am I doing? What are you doing, John? Look at those cuts in my legs. I've never seen it before in my life. Okay, that is, I got to work on being more symmetrical um, with my uh, right side. But, man, the legs, the legs are coming in nice. I'm super excited about that. Quick little boom. I love my chest. Very strong part of my body. Trying this pose. I want to work on it. Okay, so I need to tilt up a little. I got to work on that one, but I definitely want to hit it because I feel like I, it could be a strong suit for me. And then we've got the uh, com the, the muscular. I'm working on, um, you know, really not being ashamed of my abdominals and really uh, squeezing. But yeah, man, all in all, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> What is going on guys? It's your boy Jay Shane. I have to be kind of quiet right now because if I don't, my puppy will hear my voice and then it's on. Um, but as you read in the thumbnail, full day of eating, cardio, all that fun stuff. I'm going to give you all my little tips and tricks that I've been doing to lose weight. Um, right now it is around four in the morning. I have been going on a um, morning meditation walk completely fasted, no water, no coffee. I just get up and go. I'm wearing a weighted vest. For those of you that don't know, as you lose weight, um, you burn less calories doing the activities you've been doing to lose weight because you have less weight to do those activities with. So sometimes implementing a five to 10 pound weight increase can really help your body think that it hasn't lost that weight and it helps you burn a little bit more calories with that activity. Um, this really isn't though like my cardio. I have cardio after the gym. This is more of a neat exercise. So basically non-energy um, activity thermogenesis. So what I do when I'm not working out, like bobbing my head and stuff, that goes down when you're prepping. You know, your body's trying to conserve. You move less. You don't want to move. And so this is just my way of keeping that up. It's also great for my mindset. It starts my day. It's part of my routine. Um, I love it. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'll see you for breakfast. What's going on guys? All right, we are here for meal number uno. Um, I do like to do my fasted, neat meditation. I eat, I wait about two or three hours, get some schoolwork done, and then I go to the gym, come home, eat again, and then do go on about my day. So that's kind of how my eating schedule is right now. I just feel good um, doing that. So today, right now, what we've got for you, let me, prepare it we've got a egg white that's right egg white i'll get into that in a second egg white with um a keto feed powder mix uh put a little baking powder in there just mix it all together pour it in the pan let it sit and it rises up um my guilty pleasure walden farms uh maple syrup as y'all know i have a 99 one rule 99 percent of what i eat is to be as nutrient dense as possible um, for my goals, and then the other 1% is for fun. Do a little dash of cinnamon here, and then boom, check that out. Look at it. So good, delicious. All right, next we've got 
seven ounces of homemade yogurt and one packet of F-bomb salted chocolate macadamia. Um, yeah, this stuff is delicious. Definitely advise trying it out. It's easy, it's on the go. It's only four total carbs per serving. Um, I really enjoy it. So we're just gonna get that all out. Probably gonna open the package later. This is not all the carnage for this nut butter. I promise you. There we go. All right, so that, oh, and I have a coffee with three tablespoons of nut pod and one tablespoon of Kerry Gold and my multivitamin. So let's eat. Look at that. Look at that floofy. Amazing. All right guys, that's meal number one. Meal number one is done. Um, here are the macros for that meal on the screen. This is what I ate, measurements, all that fun stuff. Um, so before we get started on the day, because I don't want you to watch this whole video and be like, oh, well, what the heck is John doing? Why is he eating egg whites? I want to explain it now. So as I, as I sh showed y'all with the progress um, posing, I hit a new low. And that low is after a lot of fighting. And so there's a lot of, I, I have a lot of thoughts about this, okay? So basically, I feel like genetically, I have a higher fat set point, um, which which matters. And then let me back up here. I also have lost a lot of weight on this cut. So my body was fighting me, even at a high fat. And I feel good at a high fat. Um, but... I wasn't breaking through the plateau, so I decided to um, try something. Um, as y'all know, if y'all watched um, this for this channel for a while, earlier during my prep, I tried a fat si a, pro a fat cycling day where I just dropped my fat a lot. And I, to be honest, it went terribly. Um, I felt miserable, I was hungry, it was just, it wasn't fun. Um, and so it really put a bad taste in my mouth to try it again. Um, but I'm at this point in my prep where I'm already really tired. I'm already, I already think about food a lot, blah, blah, blah. And I was at the stall and talking to friends and talking about how protein does have a higher thermogenic rate and all of that. Um, I want to give it a shot. But the thing is, is that um, I didn't want to do high protein all the time because I do care about my cognitive benefits. I do care about my cholesterol uh, intake. I do care about my saturated fat intake. And all those things, excuse me, um, that help with my satiation and things like that, you know. And so, um, you know, Robert Robert Sykes at uh, Keto Summit in Omaha made a great, great graph where, it, you know, the thermogenic um, uh, me metabolism of proteins uh, does make it to where when you eat more protein out of your micronutrient profile, you do burn more calories, but due to impairment of energy, performance, and cognitive function, someone that's doing high fat can outperform someone that's doing lower fat, te you, know, uh, uh, you know, technically, um, and, and on the graph. And that made sense to me, and I don't disagree with them at all. So the idea was, okay, how can I get the thermogenic benefits to get as shredded as I need to get for this prep, but at the same time, reap the benefits of a high fat, cognitive boosting diet to keep me sane and so I came up with this system and I tried it for the first time last week I, I um sorry about that got my mind kind of blank there for a second um I forgot what I was talking about so anyway so um you know I wanted to I've, been, I've devised a plan I put into uh a, you know put into a gosh dang it I had a plan that I put into effect last week um and uh, I had a friend, my friend Frida, uh, we discussed back and forth a lot about uh, what her thoughts were and I kind of devised this plan and tried it and it worked. So basically what I'm doing is um, I'm doing uh, five days a week of low fat, high protein, um, 
not super low fat, just lower fat. Um, and then I'm doing two refeed days, um, lower than I would if I was doing one refeed day, and I'm doing like way higher fat, like 77%. And I found that that system works for me. I get the thermogenic benefits of those five days of burning more calories on the food I'm eating. It's also more volume. As you saw, that pancake thing was huge. Um, so I get to enjoy that. And um, I get those two refeed days. So I get to have that dietary fat intake be raised. And it pushes me into the next two refeeds that I have. Um, also, one reason I'm doing two refeeds, trying it out, is because there's a study. Boom. Screenshots. Um, that has been going around here recently that people that were on a caloric deficit diet for an extended period of time, they look at the difference between people on a um, caloric deficit diet and then people that are on a caloric deficit but with two refeeds during the week. Um, and surprisingly, even though calories remain the same and deficit percentage remain the same in both groups average, the one that had the two refeed days... Um, lost more weight and was more sustained on the rebound as well. So very fascinating. I really liked that study. Um, so that's what we're doing. So that's the plan. So today is a high protein day. Um, and I uh, have a, one more meal after this one. So now I'm going to go do schoolwork. I'm going to get ready for the gym and I will see y'all at the gym. What's up guys, sorry for the little bit of darkness. Okay, so pre-workout time. First thing we've got is German creatine. Um, it's supposed to be the cream of the crop of creatines. I don't really know, I like it. I've got Pump Surge. I've been doing a pump product recently, I do like it. Um, trying to get some, a little bit of sodium in there, so we're gonna do some BHBs, Keto Logic. Um, I like this stuff, it feels good. I can feel it, especially on my high protein days. Like, that's the thing is like, yes, um, I'm tired regardless, even if I'm doing high fat, just because my calories are so low, I've been dieting for so long. So I don't really feel a difference when I'm doing high protein right now. Um, but I will tell you that there are less ketones in my blood because when I take that on my high protein days, I feel it a lot more um, impactfully, if that's the word, uh, than on days I'm doing the higher fat. So that's interesting. And then we've got ANS Performance Prophecy Pre-Workout. It's got 400 milligrams of caffeine. I only had one cup of coffee this morning and nothing else, so I'm not worried about what this is going to do to my adrenals. I will be okay. Uh, so we're gonna put this together, and then we've gotta go to Planet Fitness first. We've gotta do red light therapy. So I've been doing red light therapy since last week. Um, with the corona thing, I'm trying to take advantage of it because I know there's gonna be a month or two or three where I don't get to use it, and I just got the membership. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. Um, so we're going to go do red light therapy, we're going to drink this, and then we're going to kill the workout. Today is um, legs and shoulders. So we're going to get a good pump. It's going to be good. Let's do it.
Alright guys, we are here for meal number two. I am super excited about this one. So like I said, the high protein days are cool because it does have a lot of volume. It's not satiating as fat like hormonally, but mentally it just it, it physically it feels good in your stomach. So that's cool, especially when you're on prep. Um, so we've got one and a half ounces of pork rinds. We've got uh, 24 tablespoons of egg whites, a little bit of miracle noodle, jalapeno, sauerkraut, and these bad boys. I'm super excited about this. Real Goods bacon wrap chicken stuffed cheese thingies. Um, so yeah, uh, here are the macros. Here's what everything is. I'm gonna chow down. Check that out. If you notice, I don't drink anything while I eat. Um, the reason for that is because I really believe that liquids dilute stomach acid. And so making sure you eat and then take sips if you have to, but let your stomach acid do its job, then wash it down with something. I think that helps with digestion, absorption, nutrient absorption makes you feel fuller. It also helps your body function better, which is gonna help you in your weight loss and health journey. So it's really a win-win if you just focus on your food, drink later, sip if you need to. Check that out. All right, guys, boom. So two meals done. Here are the macros for the entire day. Um, I feel good. I'm not done talking to you guys yet. I have something coming in the mail. I want to talk about that and how that plays into this. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then. What's going on, guys? We're at the computer real quick. Just got something in the mail. A little keto brick action. Yes, even on higher protein days, I am... Um, Part of my fats will be coming from keto brick. You can't get away from the keto brick, guys. It's needed, it's essential. If you want to be ketogenic and you want to have gains, go eat keto brick. Nah, you know, I mean, you don't have to, but I definitely think it's a good fat source, very clean. Um, also, with this whole corona thing, I don't want to say it, I feel like that's a trigger word right now. Um, these are really good. Thousand calories, if you're locked up in your house, gotta get yourself a keto brick. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, also I had some, uh, I had like three grams of protein left, so I had two sugar-free jellos. So, add that to the macros. All in all though, like, that's what my day looks like right now. Um, I actually enjoy it, like I said, I don't feel bad. Um, I have noticed the egg whites make me, like, kind of gassy. Um, so, I have a couple egg white cartons to get through, but I think once I get through those, I'm going to try and find an alternative. I might look into like a whey protein and just like start having like a protein pudding. I don't know, something like that. Start making protein pancakes, something fun. Um, so I, I do like it though. It's it's taking, it's allowed me to be a little bit more creative with my food, which keeps me going. You know, especially with the whole chance that with the Corona thing, you know, there's a big chance that my show might get canceled. Um, and the truth is, is that like I've had friends that have had their shows canceled already. And, you know, watching them go through that has emotionally it's made me to where i've been able to mentally and emotionally kind of fabricate what how i'm going to respond prior to it would have sucked if leading up to my show and then my show would have gotten canceled and i didn't have time to prepare for it mentally that might have y'all might have seen a really bad response from me emotionally but i've had time to build on it and i'm, I'm not going to stop i have you know i'm 189 and if my show continues on i plan on getting as lean as possible if my show doesn't, obviously there's no point in taking myself to 5% body fat. That's just like unhealthy for no reason. But I still want to get pretty lean. So I definitely want to break 180. So even if the show gets canceled, I'm still going to keep, I'm going to keep prepping. Um, because at the end of the day, yeah, I want the trophy. Yeah, I want to go pro. But at the end of the day, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this to look better than I did at my last show. If I pull that off, I've won. I don't give a crap if there's a trophy on my my cupboard, if, if, if I if I take some photos, really good edited photos, or I do, if I hire somebody to go out to the woods and, I don't know, or the gym or some gym and do a photo shoot, whatever, um, and I have photos, that, that's what matters, is I can look at those and go, I did that, you know? Um, and all obviously everybody likes the material. Like I can say I don't like it, but I do. Like I would love to have a trophy that said, hey, you kicked everybody else's can, but 
you know, as long as I've beaten myself, I'm good. Um, so we're so the high protein has been nice because it's given me a little bit of flavor change and it's just keeping me going because I have found that with the thought of it of it not, it's much harder because there's not a date. You're not like anchored to something. You're kind of just like winging it, you know. So you need to like find ways to keep you motivated and um, obviously being myself, but like, you know, being able to change up my foods and stuff has been really nice. So it's something that I've considered incorporating into some of my clients. I think that it depends on where you're at um, as a client. Like, I don't think someone that's just losing weight should just flip their protein and macros like I did. Because if you feel good mentally, then this is going to make you feel bad if you switch like this. But if you're already pretty low in calories making these flips you're already like like and you're already like feeling like kind of mentally blurry but you're pushing it that's why i think it's a, it's a good tool for like um for like bodybuilding if like you're genetically predisposed to a higher body fat set point or something like that it could be advantageous for you um but i don't see it being something that everybody needs to do some people do uh, feel better on a higher protein ketogenic diet i'm still learning what that would look like and how to figure out the signs of that for, for an individual. Um, but yeah, so th this has really opened my eyes to um, more bio individual ways of doing keto. Um, and yeah, so I'm super excited. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all the food. I love y'all. Put your questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Peace out.